All right, guys, welcome to Coach's Corner. This is Malik. I don't know how to say your last name. <laughs> Banoon. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and I'm Ashley Gilbert. Um, we decided to start a podcast because we mesh really well. We are really good at explaining things and bringing it down to something that is digestible for a lot of people. But we are all about just fitness, lifestyle, nutrition, health and wellness. That's pretty much what we're going to bring to you on this podcast. But we're super stoked about doing this. I think it's going to be really fun. I mean, we have a lot of really fun together, so we know it's going to be fun, but we hope you guys enjoy it as well. Um, we're excited to start the podcast explaining what we want to do and then telling you guys who we are and everything and then we're gonna always start off with a quote of the day Uh, malik already does this he's really great at it so i'm excited to do a quote of the day and kind of dig into it and just talk about both of our perspectives and so i'm excited to do this podcast with ashley we're both very passionate about this stuff and i think that as this podcast grows you know we interview other coaches and get their perspectives on things that this could be a very um helpful educational, yet entertaining podcast that uh, I think a lot of you guys will enjoy um, um, as we go. So don't forget to comment down your, you know, your suggestions on certain topics, what you want to hear in future podcasts. And uh, we are going to read all the comments and make this, you know, community based. So, so we start with the quote of the day. Yes. Okay, so I just got Ashley's this quote. She 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 sent this quote to me yesterday. <laughs> just want to clarify that this is Ashley's quote. Great quote, not my quote. Um, it's true. It's truly not mine. I just heard it on a podcast. Um, so I was listening to um, gosh, I forget what it was about. Too dang it, but it was a really good podcast. It was by uh, Rachel Hollis, and um, oh, it was about productivity. So she was talking about how she gets so much done in a day. And I was like, I need to listen to this because I've got kids and I feel like sometimes I'm just not productive. Mom life. <laughs> Hashtag mom life. Yeah. So I need to be more productive and I need to see how to do it. So she gave a lot of really good tips, but the quote was, um, the reason you're not where you want to be in life is because your, is it daily actions? Ideal self. Oh, okay. We transition. Start. With your daily practices. <laughs> it, was it was close. When you wait, I feel like you need to say it. I want to say it. So yeah, you're you're recording on your phone, so you can't see the note. But the quote was, "When your ideal self is in opposition with your daily practices, that's the reason why you're not where you want to be." Yes. How good is that? I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> it's, it's one. It's a self-reflective one. I feel like sometimes, depending on where you're at. I know in certain times of my life, I would have probably taken this a little offensively, this quote. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean I'm not where I want to be? <laughs> you know, so uh, depending on where you're at, I feel like, you know, you could, you know, if you gain, what what is your perspective on it? Okay, so for me, it, it so it is very self-reflective, which is great because some part of growing and part of becoming better and just getting further in life, right? Because if you're not, you know, you have to, for to see a change, you got to grow. Like you got to make a change. True. So this quote, the, very self-reflective. So when you listen to this, I want you to like actually think about it, even write it down. But the reason I'm not where I want to be is because my actions, right? My daily practices, what I'm doing every day are not in line with the person that I want to be. So I want to be a productive person that gets things done. I've always been like that. I've always just been very productive. I would get things done. I'm very determined. I'm very driven, but it's changed a lot with kids. So I just, everything's changed. Like I, my goals, like things that I want to get done, things, you know, like just everything this has changed. The biggest, one of the biggest things that you didn't think would change, change when you became a mom. I guess just like your perspective of like life, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Just everything <laughs> literally everything um I think that now goals are just different because it's not just me you know now it's for my kids yeah. um for my family you know for for all of us um it's not just about me anymore so that's a huge shift in your like mindset and you don't have to like lose yourself and lose like who you want to be and the goals and like the type of person you want to be, but you just have to go about it in a different way. So now having that quote, I was like, okay, so I want to be, I want to get things done and I want to be productive and I want to still reach goals that I have, 
but now it's not just for me. Like I need to do that also for my kids. And I want to not just be like sitting on the couch all day, hanging with my kids and like get nothing done, like do nothing. Cause that's not the type of person I am. I think that would drive me nuts. Yeah. So I had to, I have to just like now find a balance of like working, like doing this. I have to have a show on for my daughter. I was yeah. like totally that person. I was like, I cannot be putting shows on for this kid. Like it's going to be so bad for her. Like I was, I didn't want to be that person, but there's certain things you have to sacrifice at a certain point to be able to get things done. So like, I want to have a podcast and I want to um, share my knowledge with people. So in order to do that, like I have to make a little bit of a sacrifice with what I'm doing with her and how to entertain her. And maybe it's a show for a little bit, but then like all, everything else will like, I'll be present with her after, you know? Right. Right. What about you? What do you think about yeah, it? Yeah, with any how game, you? there comes sacrifice. Um, the way I took it, how many times do we like have the deadline and we do it the day before when we had a month that we knew we had to do it? Looking at that quote for me, realize, all right, what are the practices, the daily practices that I want for my long-term goals, right? Like you said, I'm not going to, I might be happy today just doing this, but over time, if I always did this, I'm going to lose my mind. So like having the end in mind type of thing, what are my daily practices that will get me to my long-term goal? And what am I doing today that is fighting those long-term goals? Honestly, this could be like a whole other podcast. <laughs> good, it could. That because was a, you're what? talking about goal setting now. Because, kind, of. Well, it's kind of. But we could go into that. You know what I mean? Like productivity, because your productivity, like it has to line up with who you want to be, where you want to be. Let's so like there has to be so much in a day that you are focusing on and you are doing that is helping you reach that goal, be that person that you want to be. So you have to know your goals for the short term, for the long term, and then you have to know what you need to do to get there. And then you have to do it. That was the biggest thing for me. It was a big shift in like, I know what I need to do, but am I doing it? I wasn't doing it. So that's what changed is like, I need to, like you said, stop being distracted with like technology and like things like that, but do the do like do yeah. it so yeah. I can continue to move forward, you know? Well, I'm curious of the listener, the watcher right now, what did you get from the quote? What did yeah. you guys get? Cause that's, uh, I think it's a deep quote. I think everyone's going to maybe have a different perspective on it, to be honest. Did you, you remember the, your first year of training? Well, you know, oh, dude, it was, I mean, it hasn't been like that long. I just have bad mom brain, you guys. Yeah. So I'm a mom of two kids. I have a two year old and a six month old. Um, I have been a personal trainer since, uh, I, how old am I? I'm 31. So probably since I was like 23, I want to say how many years is that? Like almost, maybe almost 10. Um, so that's my kind of background. I've always been an athlete growing up. I've always loved sports. Um, I've played basketball and volleyball. Um, I was in track. Um, Ooh, that reminds me, we got to do an episode about that. <laughs> about oh. failure. We got to write that down. And then, um, so I've always loved sports, but then honestly, what got me into fitness and wanting to work with people is, um, my like love for nutrition, my own journey in fitness. And my dad, my dad got, um, he was like pre-diabetic at one point in my life, I remember. And instead of taking pills, he instead changed his nutrition. And when he did that, he no longer was like pre-diabetic. He like reversed everything and like was super healthy for a very, very long time. So that was really cool. He then got, um, um, what am I trying to say? He then was diagnosed with Parkinson's. My dad has been like in fit. He has literally been working out since he was like 15 years old. Um, so he has worked out his entire life. He's always had a really good base. He's always been really muscular. Yeah. So my dad having a really good, strong base and muscle mass actually helped the Parkinson's not, um, like completely take over his whole body as quickly as it could have. So having that strong, um, base and having some muscle mass on him because it does deteriorate your muscles was, it helped a ton. Um, so seeing both of those incidents in my life, um, really just made me realize like without your health, without good nutrition, without, um, you know, a strong body, like you really don't have a full grasp on your health. Like you could, um, having a good, like working out, staying fit and just eating, eating healthy is just, it's everything. And without your health, what do you have? You know? So that's my little story. Nada. I'll, I'll let Malika. 
No, that was awesome. Thank you. Where where have you coached? Just so they have background of like where you know where are some spots that you you've coached? My um, journey, like real life, started in um, twenty four hour fitness in the East Bay. I had just moved up here because I was dating my husband, and um, I got I got um, a place with two girls, and the three of us were roommates. And I started working at the front desk at twenty four hour fitness, and I was studying to be a personal trainer. So I was getting like mentored by all these personal trainers um, that were super cool, and they helped me study and then just start off into training. And that was twenty four hour fitness, then Orange Theory, then F forty five, and now I'm just like personal training at like gyms, whatever gyms nice. locally. Nice. And, th- and that's where we met was F forty five coaching there. Personally, I started at 24 as well, front desk. So I always tell people, awesome. if, you're tra- if you're trying to get into fitness, get into a gym, get that front desk membership. You'll get a free membership and you'll work. You'll you'll learn some of the trainers and you'll get your foot in the door. Um, but Ashley, thank you for the intro. I'll do a quick intro. My name is Malik. Uh, I was personal trainer, started in 2013, 2012. Um, 2012 is when I started at 24 front desk. 2013 is when I started training. Um, and since then, just been loving it, loving the interactions with uh, clients, with community members who are also into fitness. Uh, you build a, a bond with people, I feel like, uh, especially in your local community, because if you're working out all the time, you're being consistent, you see the same people at the same places, uh, you build a friendship and a relationship with these people. So that's something that got me to stick in this uh, community. And so I'm excited to do this podcast with Ashley. We're both very passionate about this stuff. Guys, let us know what you think about that quote. Yeah, we would love to get your feedback. Um, It's definitely something to really like chew on. And um, we're excited to do another episode. So thank you so much for joining us. And we'll see you next time, guys. Thank you, guys. And make sure to tune in, subscribe, and share with your friends. See you.